everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different, it's going to be my September favourites. So things that I've loved this month that I've been using or wearing and I just wanted to show you them and tell you a little bit about them and why I love them so much. Some of the things you might recognise from some of my other videos or you might be able to guess some of the things. Okay so I'm just going to start with a bit of makeup. So my first product that I've been loving is this lip gloss. So this one here is a lip gloss from a new brand. I don't think it's new but it's new to the UK anyway. It's called Buxom. So I was recommended to go and have a look at these lip glosses from a girl that I work with. She had one and she was like, oh my god, it's absolutely amazing, you need to go and get one. This shade is called Amber and it's a plumping lip gloss. So Again, something that I've not had before. I mean, I did years ago, but I didn't really feel like they did anything. This one, I actually do feel like it does plump. Obviously, it does the tingly thing on the lips. And yeah, and it does feel a bit funny, but you just get used to it. But I do feel like it does plump them. Yeah, absolutely love it. And this colour as well is gorgeous. Neutral that I always wear. I just feel like it's never going to get old. I'm not going to get bored of it. So yeah, that's number one. Okay, number two is my Nip and Fab Exfoliating Pads. So you're going to have to bear with me on this name. I think it's Glycolic Fix Foaming Pads and they cleanse and exfoliate in one. So I'll just show you. They come in their own little pads and they've already got product on. This side has got little beads which help with the exfoliating of the skin. And this side is smooth, so that's like the polish and cleanse of the skin. But basically, I have never used any of their products before, the Nip and Fab range. But I did want to try this brand and I needed something to exfoliate after I take my makeup off. So because I work in makeup as well, obviously I've got my full face on and when I get home it's quite late. So trying to get the makeup off as quick as possible. I'm so tired is really important. So after I've taken the makeup off, these are just so good and so so quick and the pad actually like starts to foam up so you get like a foam all around the face and then I just turn it over and go in the polish side and then just wipe around and then you just rinse it off and you literally feel like you've had a facial. It's amazing. So yeah, I do recommend them very much. Okay, next, this is something that you might have already guessed, but it is my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I don't know if any of you watched my video about the Fenty Beauty review. Um, I was lucky enough to go to the exclusive launch of Fenty Beauty when it launched at Hard Nichols, and I got given a little goodie bag with a couple of products in there, and I did a review for them. But since then, so oh, I got given the Matchstick highlighter, which was this one here. So since then I have been back um, and I brought the contour stick as well the, and I was saying in that review that the amazing thing is there's the contour stick, concealer, the highlighter, they're all this packaging and they snap together so they've got a magnet in them so it's really really good for like travelling and just to keep them all together but yeah so I haven't picked one of these as my favourites it's just the whole range <laughs> and yeah the matchsticks in particular because they just come as a pair both individual really good products so the highlighter stick goes on lovely on top of the cheekbone not as creamy as the contour stick I would say so I used this one for the first time last week in my video and literally just under the cheekbone like dr literally drawing it on they were really really creamy, blended so well with my beauty blender and it was an amazing colour and it just looked still natural and it's something I've never had before, I've never had a contour stick I normally just do my contour with bronzer yeah so I have always wanted one so this was definitely a good find I feel like when you start the connection thing it just gets very dangerous because you just want them all then okay so this one is the last one in like the makeup skincare section and okay I'm kind of cheating a bit because I think I actually did get this one in August, but obviously this is my first favourites video, so I didn't get to speak about it. But it is my Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. Yes, yeah, so this is another one you may have seen in like 
loads of my videos because I love it so much. You know, I wanted it for absolutely ages and the fact that I couldn't buy it here at all look at the colours. And I know a lot of my friends had it anyway so I could ask them what if it was really worth it and what the pigment's like and they all said it was so so good. So here it is. You might have seen it last week in my autumn makeup video. Um, I did use it for the eyes just because the colours are literally like autumn in a palette so this is why I'm loving it, it's going to take me all the way through to winter I'm like with the browns and the burgundies so yeah definitely worth the money if you're if you're considering buying it and you're not sure like I was then take it from me, I say yeah okay so moving on from like makeup and skincare I'm gonna go on to more accessories now, so things I've been wearing and things that I've lit, the, well, both of these things are things I've wanted for so, so long. And I'm so grateful and happy that I got them finally. So I just had to put them in this video as my favorites because they are amazing. Okay, so the first ones, oh my God, I can't even tell you how happy I was when I got these. Well, I cried, put it that way. I cried when I opened it, that's how much. I wanted them and I love them and I'm going to love them forever. Okay, so without further ado, it is my Gucci sliders. Oh my gosh, I wanted these for so long. And I know that this is September now and slider season is kind of going out, but who cares? I'm going to still be wearing them when it's like snowing and things because that's how much I love them. So maybe not snowing, but... Even around the house, like, instead of slippers, Gucci sliders. So these are like, I think it's called Bloom. So it's like the floral um, print over the original Gucci logo. And it's got the little Gucci tag on the back. They're just perfect, they look amazing. Like, if I could have designed a Gucci slider, that's what it would look like. But yeah, so, my lovely boyfriend brought them for me as a present for graduating and it was a total surprise like I had absolutely no idea at all like knew I had a surprise coming because he said but I was like what for like what why like I there's nothing it wasn't my birthday just yet graduation was in like June completely forgot about that but yeah bless him it was like the best surprise ever so I'm gonna love them to the day I die, like I know. Okay, so last but not least, a few of you were asking me to do um, like a what did I get for my birthday video. So I thought I'd add it into this favourites video because, you know, it is my favourite, so why not? This is also something that I've wanted for so, so long. I can't believe I'm even holding it. And like, I'm so, so grateful, like, I'm another thing I'm gonna love forever. So here it is, some of you might have already seen it on my Instagram and how much I love it, but it is my Louis Vuitton purse, um, it's called the Emily purse and it's got the, I think it's called Ballerina Rose print, uh, sorry colour inside um, and on the little button, but yeah so this was something that I had for my birthday and I have been collecting Louis Vuitton bags for a few years now, well, since my 18th. And it was kind of the only thing that I was missing. I know that I'm going to be collecting for years because I absolutely love the brand. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just show you a little bit about the purse. As you can see, this is the size. Not too big, not too small. Still like quite slim, like it's not too chunky. And keeping the Louis Vuitton print, the monogram this one's called, it's got the little hint of the pink on the sides and pink is my favourite colour. Also it's pink inside as well. So just on this top bit and I don't know if you can see but after I brought it I had to take it back to the shop for and leave it there for three days which was like the longest three days of my life because they do the complimentary uh, hot stamping. It's where you have your initials and I just saw like I need it on my purse just to complete the collection. So I'll just show you. There it is. And then just make it like yours as well, like no one else has got that. I mean, obviously your initials are also LH and yeah. But yeah, so the one thing I was a little bit concerned about was it only had four card holders. When I actually brought it, 
I found that there was another um, section in the back which is where extra cards can go because you know we all have about 10,000 loyalty cards so they need to go somewhere but yeah so I just thought I'd show you that one because it is definitely my favourite of the month yeah okay, that's what I got for my birthday as well so yeah I'm a very lucky girl that is everything that is my favourite of the month. A combination of makeup, skincare and accessories. So I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try and make this more of a regular thing, like the whole monthly favourites thing, because, you know, it's nice to, to see the collection of things I've been building up throughout the month all come together and tell you a little bit about them. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.